I'm waiting for him to come in, son. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all about ready, baby? Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Let's get it baby. cracking, man. Let's get it cracking, man. Episode 21, man. Everybody's talking about it. We here. We here. We're gonna get it going. You know what it is, man. We got Moot the Flexitarian. To the left of me, my guy Kel. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm here. To the right of me, the Earth Love himself. You better believe it. You got the glitter and gold out today. Feel a certain way. <laughs> you know, <some laughs> <high weight going. laughs> Tighten up the day. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> for the cardies out for them today, sure. Yeah, sometimes, you know, sometimes you got to go in the bag. Hey, you, you, sometimes you got to spank them, you know? <laughs> you know? They ain't acting right, you got to spank them. Every once in a while, every once in a while. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no question, no question. Get them. All right, people, 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 people. Get at it, man. Let's What's get going on? It. What's going on, man? Episode 21. Something got to turn something down. Is it over there? No, that's over you. Yes, 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 yes. Episode 21. We here. Everybody talk about it. Podcast. Like to say good evening. Well, good night. We're good. What's this? Good something. <laughs> I just started. Sorry, y'all. I just started. Nah. So it might be a little shaky, shaky early. Yeah, man. But sh- first of all, I just like to say I know the uh, the bus stop bandits today had a good time, man. Just a big shout out to the bus stop bandit. It was raining all day for you guys that be looking for the stragglers with no whips. <laughs> <laughs> bus walking to the subway, uh, waiting on a bus stop. Ain't got no uh, umbrella. Man. The day was for you, son. For it was for you man. today, son. Nice this old rainy day, son. This man oh, terrible. I know y'all was out there getting your get your snatch on the day, son. Getting that getting that body count up. Getting body count from stragglers. Ain't car you working or ain't got no whip trying to get to work. Yeah. You ride up the street. You U-turning, the nice old big U-turn too. Mm. <laughs> man, no question, no question. Shout out to y'all, man. <laughs> man, what, what, whatever, man. We, we get to it. First of all, you know we gotta start where we always start from. Weekend, Carlos, how was it? Oh, man, it was cool, man. It was cool. It was cool. I no complaints. Ugly today, you know what I'm saying? I really, ain't even wanna come out the house. In fact, I didn't come out till it was time to come to work, but. Other than that, it was cool. Spent a lot of time with my grandparents yesterday. That oh, was, that's that was, nice. That was, that was, that so was, was a blessing. Yeah, I went and sat with them for about four or five hours yesterday. I had a good time. It's a blessing, man. It's a blessing. That's what's up. What's up. What about you, Erk? Man, How was uh, it, man? It was, it, was, it was a nice night. Nice experience, you know what I mean, on the, on the weekend tip, man. Just really chilled. Uh, I did do some work over the weekend. and uh, Before the weekend started, man, we had like a little... Um, thing at my job where we just try to show some unity within the within the uh within the company, well the operators and stuff like that, trying to inform some operators about the uh, rules, regulations, you know, the contract, you know what I mean? Because it's so hard right now due to the due to the pandemic, you know, the union can't do everything. But at the end of the day people fail to realize that we are the union. So you just can't keep on blaming on the president, vice president, the boys, things like that. So you know I mean? it was a well thing, man. And, we did some things, man. You know, I mean, uh, the brother Rod uh, gave us a lot of things, man. Cook, uh, man, did the catering, cook, man. Cakes was delicious, man. Had to get that brother on here, man. I'm telling you, cakes are delicious. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And, uh, the baker? Yeah, man. Oh, he did, did the catering, man. I'm telling you, man. The man gets it, man. Gets it man. done, was, huh? Was superb, man. What's up? I'm telling you, what's up? It was lovely. Uh, and you know, you had my brother Joe. 
couple other people, man. It was real nice, real nice thing, man. You know what I mean? Real nice thing. Sound like a nice event. Yeah, pretty Definitely. much. Me and myself, um, I just enjoyed this weather. I ain't really do too much. It was so good, just felt like just laying back. Saturday I laid back, sat on the deck, poured out a bottle of wine, just just enjoyed the law. I knew it was just wasn't gonna be around too long, so I ran what I had. <laughs> you know what I mean? But mm -hmm. yeah, I enjoyed that. Um my homeboy came down this weekend and we sat down and talked, you know, guy I grew up with. That's for sure. We sat down, we met down to, uh that's my first time in that joint too, the um it's the restaurant on Exeter and Ah, my mind blanked out. Sorry. I cannot think of the name of the restaurant. Mm -mm -mm. Hold up. Oh, I ain't got it. Anyway. But we went, sat, happy hour, ate, had some seafood, mac cheese, delicious, and everything. Uh, so that's basically what my weekend really adhered to. Oh, okay. Right. So, all right, let's get started, man. Podcast is here, episode 21. You know, what's up with the shit? We, we still doing the bullshit. Yeah. We're back man. to the bullshit. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we got it. Back Ten year old. Back to what we talk about week in and week out, man. We got to do better. Ten year old. Baltimore, we got to do better, man. You got to be. <laughs> what are, it, listen, man. I didn't know what's on hey, top of these hey, dudes' hey, list. Man, like, hey, the, the every, life. Listen, I, I want to ask this. I know everybody want to be a gun, gunslinger. You know what I mean? But the thing is that can any young young person fight anymore? Cause I mean I've really been seeing them getting their ass with pretty pretty bad by you know the majority of these old old dudes. Cause that's all we did we fought. You know what I mean? Like I don't even know if these young kids can even even can throw that thing anymore, man. You know what I mean? Because every time I turn around, man, they gotta. You'll never know. Pop that on or something, man. You that, that's, you that's crazy. You, you'll never know if they can and, or not. And then you'll when you, never see it. And then when. You can't do that when you go over the joint. So that's why you got to team up with a whole bunch of juniors and you like the wahina until somebody put that thing up and you all over there and then everybody want to bag up. You know what I mean? You ain't got no friends in that joint. You better believe that. I seen the video of young you know dude, I mean? rapper dude. I don't say his name. So I don't know the guy. Like I said personally, but he just had to be discussing that same thing. He was basically saying, you know, what's the, you know, we ain't doing, nobody doing that no more. Like it's like it's, you know, like it's whack, man. Everybody doing that no more. When I see you, it's on this and that. You know, it had nothing to do with fighting. Like basically saying, fighting is basically, you know, obsolete. a dinosaur at this point. Yeah, it's obsolete now. But it don't have to be. It don't have to be, man. If people, if, man, listen, man. Listen, this, this, this is my take. What is the hold, about, though? Hold on, this is my take, right? Even if that's how they feel about Fighting and being being a thing of the past was obsolete now and extinct at this point. That still don't mean you have to bang a gun because you know what I'm saying you disagree. You understand what I'm saying? Correct. This, it, like nowadays you can't even agree to disagree. You understand? What I'm saying? This this is how how bad it is. You can't even agree to disagree right. with, with somebody. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying it's terrible, man. We got we got we got we. we it's got to be better, man. You know what I'm saying? We got to do better. I'm saying the first thing we do, they run and get the the gun and stuff. I'm saying, like, it has to be... Like, nobody... Like, we can't even... Try to think. All right, just think about I, yourself, though. Did you think when you... When we got the stuff back then, did we think that way? Was we, like... I don't think we thought that way, neither. No, I... To be I, honest with you. No, I would... Did you think, like, I, I'm going to jail? I could rumble. So I, I that was that was that was the that was the next best thing. Man, man, look, you know what I'm saying? First of all, it, you know, right? That saying? ain't come I, on till our tail, our old, our middle, I mean, that, right. our late twenties and started nobody, getting to I that. Can rumble. Point. Listen, man, nobody think about going to jail because you wasn't banging that iron. At the, you know, what I mean, your your first your first man tell you wasn't, yeah, wasn't to yeah, bang yeah. it. First instinct wasn't to just shoot. Just, you know, yeah. what I mean, swing. You know, yeah. what I mean? that, that right. was it. And pretty much you ain't have enough time to swing anyway because whoever was serious about it, we ain't talking about it, we just handle it right then and there. You know what I mean? So you ain't, you ain't had enough time to be going to go get like, no wine. You know I'm saying, is it slick to go to jail for life? Is that what's going to happen? That's what it because looks like. Because that's, it's not, it's not, it's listen, no. I don't understand. Yo, and I just said this a couple weeks back. I, I, I mean, uh, it just bewilders me, man, to, to see how many people who so willing to throw their life away 
for shit that's next to nothing. Like something you could, oh, you don't agree with what's going on at the time. Walk away. Go home. Go do something. Go get some pussy. Go do anything. You know what I'm saying? By then, you can better calm down and you live to see another day. That person lived to see another day. Everybody go home. Everybody happy. You go see your kids. He go see his kids. And the kids that's innocent that's out here that's getting shot and get, still have a chance to live. You understand what I'm saying? And, and then let it go, man. It ain't, it's not worth I just don't understand how these guys are just that eager to throw their entire life away. And then sit over to jail and say, yo, uh, that nigga ain't going to do, he ain't going to play with me. Right. You understand what I'm saying? And ain't got no family looking for you over there. Yeah, but then, but you then, all but, but then a lot of times with a lot of these dudes, they hide when they doing what they doing, and then they sober up. Shit got real, realize where they at. It's over. It's too late. Right. Once, 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 once you let them fly, you can't, you can't pull it back. I heard a lot of people say they blame mm-hmm. on the guys get high. It's, the, it's these guys getting drunk. This, this is why. Cause half these dudes ain't even built like that. They not. That's why when they get over the joint, we didn't, we didn't been there, we didn't yeah. seen it. Yeah. That's why when half of them y'all get over the joint, they, 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 they trying to see what color they look best in. Yeah. You know, I look better in red over here. Well, yeah. I look, I look better in blue. Right. You know what I'm saying? Well, well, I want to be a part of something. Want to be a part of something else? Let me go see what the BGF looking like yeah. over here. You understand? Yeah. What I'm saying? You know what I mean? See how how, how tall they stand? Or oh, you know, maybe I. I I'm gonna change my whole religion now. now. Yeah, you exactly. know, come exactly. Aki, be, yeah. so I can keep and make sure I'm okay in here. Okay. You know, I ain't man enough to stand on my own. Exactly. You understand? Know so, so this is what this is the this is the product that you get at the end of the day. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I, I don't know, man. I have them. They don't know if they're coming or going, man. I have these dudes, man. <laughs> that's why. It's that's crazy. why I don't I don't glorify my era of 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 how things went down. But I be right. happy to let dudes know that it was a different men it, 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 there was there were still killings. But these these were real men dealing with real men situations. Things that had to be taken care of because lines were crossed. These weren't just guys that just have high and they just oh I got I got a gun so I need to let a nigga know that I ain't scared to use it. And, and then throw your entire life away for for nothing, nothing. As, as a man, what your some of your other than let's take family out. We know that's 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 number one. That's like number one. So let's let's go past that. As a guy, what else can be on your agenda other than money and women? Just as a man, we already know family. We family. That's the obvious. Yeah. We're not talking the obvious. You got money. So outside of your outside you of family, you got sex. Yeah. You got money and coochie. They're the next best two things as far as with a man. So you know what I'm saying? You're, whatever you're doing you're, should be kind of trending in that. Should be kind of exactly. This is what this is what I'm saying. You had dudes back in our days. Like I said, you had saying you had murders too. But you might have had a dude who Felt like the dude flat out disrespecting him because yo, you know that's my 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 lady, right? And you just flat out going right at it. I mean, even you with that, we had situations. I told y'all about situations where dudes just came to fight. They ain't good. Yeah. Well, dudes came and told us I could have did, but we gonna fight it out. Yeah. You know what I mean, so yeah. it's, it's but, different. But um, that's what I'm saying. Like the nowadays, that they like, to me, I figure I feel like I, I guess they feel like their life ain't worth nothing. That's see, what I'm saying. See, 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 my life, my music. life, my life is 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 worth too much to me. And then I got other people who depend on me, who my life is worth something to. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Obviously, these kids don't have anyone that they feel like their life is even worth anything. Because it can't be if you're this if you just that willing to throw it away. Because they only for, next, for the next man. Well, not getting no money. Ain't no, y'all ain't getting no money out here, so you can't no say money. it was over money. No money. You understand what I'm saying? Well, we can't say it ain't no money because they ain't making no money, the, so the, the, it, it could be old pennies. No, let's just say the, the money you talking about you beefing over, it ain't shit. It's it, pennies. Ain't, it ain't no money, man. It's pennies. That ain't no money, man. It's pennies. It's no money. And it's, and it's crazy because <laughs> you feel, you know what I'm saying? You 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 look around now, look, you know, you would think that, you know, 
the dudes that was in the streets was was it the work? So if they the, messed the streets the, up. Now they great messed the rap game the, up. The, everything is it's just the, like everything they touch is go down the fucking drain. The, the working man is is what's hot right now. Truth be told. Yeah, and when we looked at them, it's kind of oh uh, he worked. I, I know that. I remember those days. Oh, oh yeah, he worked. Yeah, he a clown. He got a job. He got a job. <laughs> he a clown. Yeah. He got a job. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Old I Peter, guess that still old applies. Peter, old Peter's old Peter doing great though. Because Peter ain't ask ain't asking so for nothing. You got dudes on the corner still bagging dudes at work. That don't make sense to me. But the end of the day they doing she that. Right? Up. Y'all doing that, y'all shooting, running around shooting dudes and doing all this. The press. Who? The next guy that ain't got nothing? Exactly. Well, then you when know, you, you go you in, you know, ain't you know when you go in, that's it. Niggas ain't fucking with you. Exactly. And this is this is the crazy part, right? So don't get mad to me, young this man. Is, this see this me, the crazy not. part. He ain't gonna see. He should told you that before you went in. You're absolutely. Because if he didn't have nothing before you went in, what made you? What, what, so now you in jail. What made you just think he gonna have something then? <laughs> Nigga was broke before you went in. He ain't exactly. couldn't give you no money. Exactly. So now you over there. You ain't got nothing on your books. Or you keep calling home for mom every two minutes. Right. Mom ain't got nothing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's what it would be, yeah. right? Yeah. That, you know what I'm saying? Moms much. and baby mothers, that, always and all these women. That, you ain't did you nothing. On all these women you ain't, done, nothing for. you ain't done nothing for your mother the whole nothing. time you was out here. Nothing. The snow come down, she got the pad nigga to shovel the snow. You in the basement. I was down getting with high. Dude, I was down with a dude need a hundred dollars to get up. You know what I told him? Yeah. You know, I don't bite my tongue. I said, damn, homie. You must was a terrible nigga out on them streets. Man. Why you right. say that? I said, yo, you can't even get a hundred dollars. I seen a nigga sitting in there too. Ain't no lie. Nigga was in there for a hundred. Nigga bail was a hundred and fifty dollars, yo. I see you must have a And this nigga was in there bragging the whole time that he him and his brother was getting it in. And all this old bullshit. Yep. Hundred and fifty dollars, yo. Mm-hmm. Can anybody I, out there give us an answer? We we still trying to figure out the answers. Yes. Does anybody have one? Anybody. <laughs> Just please. No, we, I, I'm tired of turning the news on and seeing people who have nothing to do with what it is that y'all doing in the streets, getting shot down. Because y'all y'all worry about me. I don't even look at that shit no more. I ain't going to tell you. <laughs> I don't follow it. I stopped following, uh, what's that, uh, uh, murder ink and all that. I mean, they can do what they got to do, but I don't follow them. Just crazy. I don't Yo, follow them. Makes all no I have nothing to do is just, it's just bullshit. Sad sure part, man. It just maybe if we stop entertaining but, that shit, start ignoring that shit. Maybe because it's out to impress people. Because anytime you on videos and on IGs and on these 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 pages and saying what you gotta do, I don't guess hoping to get likes and stuff. Maybe we ignore it. Maybe everybody know it. Stop. I mean, we just try to help, but at the same time, don't entertain their videos. Don't entertain none of that shit. My, 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 my Let that shit have zero followers.